What is good guys, we have more SPL, we got Trosko versus Cory. I assume this is a Scarf land on Trosko is just gonna U-turn out. Um, into either Heatran, Tangros or Rotom. I wouldn't go hard into Heatran just in case this Mew has a ground move. Um, on Cory's side, yeah, I assume both landers are actually Scarf. Medicham is gonna be a huge problem for Trosko. And Trosko's Lele is gonna be a huge problem for Cory, especially if it's not choice locked. I assume that's a Rocks Megatar on Trosko's side. Uh... Yeah, AV Tangros and the Rotom might actually be more Fistaf to help versus the Pinsir matchup. So he does go on a T there here as it's Rock's Mew, so it's probably not Defog Mew. And the Defog is probably on Lando, so on Scarf Lando the Defog. And then the Coco is either Z Move or Specs, is what is my guess, as he dodges a Willow Wisp here. Now, I think uh, Cory can just go for Softball here just in case Trosco goes in the Heatran. Uh, you don't want a Willow Wisp and give the Heatran a Flash Fire boost. But now, Trosco should still scout for potential potential off power off quick. He should switch into Rotom here because Rotom covers um it covers Cory going into Tyranitar and it covers Cory staying and going for ground move. So yeah, he does scout out that really nice play. I assume they're now gonna exchange Will O Wisp here. As Mew is Will O Wisp. Rock, Softball, and Earthquake, so it cannot touch the Rotom. So after they exchange Willow Wisp here, uh, the Mew is probably forced to switch out. And I think Trosco can... Yeah, they, do, they do exchange Willow Wisp. I think Trosco can just go for Volt Switch here. Uh, Cory is most likely going to go to Amoongus here. And yeah, you can Volt Switch here, then he can bring out his Tapu Lele. And if he's not Choice Lock, let's say he's a potential Z-Move Lele, which makes a lot of sense. Either the Lele or the Heatran has to be Z-Move on Trosco's side. Um, yeah, that's gonna be pretty scary for Cory because the way he deals with Tapu Lele is um, If it's choice locked then Tita can deal with Psychic um, And Amoongus can deal with Moonblast, but if it's not choice locked and it can change that moves, you know, huge trouble uh, Yeah, it's just bad for you. So he Volt switches out into I assume Tapu Lele because if you go on the Heatran Unless you Z Fire Heatran or Z Flash Cran Heatran You don't really gain that much because uh, you have to risk missing Magma Storm and just going to Tapu Lele, putting offensive pressure on Cory is definitely the play. So he does go for Protect Scouting for potential Choice Scarf Tapu Lele or Choice Specs um, because the lander was already Scarf, so more so scouting for Choice Specs. But it doesn't work or because it's Calm and Lele. Oof. So this is probably Z move. And yeah, Trozo can just click Psychic here. Uh, he does not have to predict at all. Uh, so Cory does go in the Mew. Yeah, because even if he goes in the T-Tar there on the Psychic, then he would like only take a bit of Sandstorm damage and he could just still Moonblast next turn. So yeah, he has to sack something here. He does a little bit of chip damage with Earthquake. And now he's going to be able to force out the Tapu Lele with either the Landris or the Medicham. Um, you would wonder why I say Medicham, but um, Psychic Terrain is still up and Zen Headbutt and Psychic Terrain, I would assume, kills from this range. Uh, because Tapu Lele doesn't have the best defense. Medicham is super strong. And yeah. It's stab and Psychic Turin boosted, then Headbutt would probably kill. And the other option would be Scarf Landris here, obviously, would kill with off quick. So he does go manage him, he's just gonna click Zen Headbutt. Trosco should switch out and save this, as it can still put in work versus Tyranitar and Amoongus later in the game. So he does go on a Tita here, anticipating his Zen bud, and he's gonna get some Sand Jump, Chip Damage, and a Medicham, Jump. But he doesn't have a switch in here, so uh, Cory can just go for High Jump Kick. And I think it's too risky for Trosco to pivot into Landers because if um, just in case Cory goes for Ice Punch and also this Tita doesn't really do that much for Trosco. So I think I agree with sacking the Tita. Now he can go into his uh, Lando exactly. And he's probably going to U-turn out here as Cory can go into either Amoongus or his own Landers here. Anticipating a U-turn. Uh, I don't think there's a point in, for, um, in going for HP Ice if you're Trosco here, just in case uh, Cory goes into Amoongus, because they won't do anything to Amoongus. Um, also, this Amoongus um, has Protect. Uh, does it not have Spore? Like, it might not have Spore because he has um, a Tapu Koko. So, does U-turn out on the opposing Landris. He can go into here... Um, Changroth or Rotom. He goes Lele. Okay, my bad. Wait. Why did he go to Lele? Is he gonna switch... I don't know. He gets crit. So that um, that crit is really annoying because now he dies to Sandstorm. I assume Trosco went to fire off his Z move here. Um, depending on if it's Z Psychic or Z All Out Pummeling, Cory can potentially predict this. Um, I assume if I'm Cory here, I would predict the Psychic. Either a Psychic or a Z Psychic or something like that. He does go into um, Tapu Koko. I guess he's willing to sack that. 
Oh, he predicted the fighting move. But yeah, it is the Shadow Psych and the Lily. Uh, this is a double down. The Lily goes down the Sandstorm. I'm not 100% sure about the Lily play on the Landrus. I'm also surprised that U-turn crit didn't do that much. So maybe this is a defensive Scarf Lander from, from Cory's side. And now, Cory can just go into his uh, Medicham here. Or into his Landris, but I think Medicham is really nice here, yeah, exactly. Because if a matchup comes up like Landris, he can just go for Fake Out, get some chip damage, and then next turn he can switch out. Okay, so Torsgo does go into um, Tank Growth. He's gonna. Um, Cory can go into Amoongus here, and Torsgo can maybe go for a knockoff, predicting that. Just go for Sludge Bomb. Um, okay, does he not have knockoff? Basically, he switched out the Manichim because it was at minus one, and Manichim pretty much kills everything, though, so there's no point for to stay in for Cory. Pretty nice play, doubling back into Manichim, knowing that the huge one was going to come out. Uh, Amoongus could not go for Spore because Electric Terrain was up, so even if it had Spore, he couldn't go for it. So Cory's like, let me predict that real quick, double into Manichim, click high jump, click and get a kill. Um, Trosco could have gone to Landris, but Landris would have been super low, so I don't think he... Like, it would have been... It would not have worked out for him. Um, pretty much Trosco is forced to U-turn here. Cory can go into Lando or Mungus again. He's obviously going to switch out the Medicham as Medicham wins him the game. So there's no point in staying in here and risking to die. Um, like risk dying to Earthquake. There's no point in doing that. So yeah, I think Mungus is pretty fine here actually. If he goes for Earthquake, he's forced to double the next turn because you could then go into Landris. And if he goes for U-turn, Mungus eats that up with ease. And yeah, you want to get rid of the Intimidate on your on the Medicham. Um, this is this is crazy, man. So I assume that this is um, the Coco probably has either U-turn or Volt Switch on Curry side. I don't think we got to see that because it's like um, U-turn land and then um, momentum move on Coco to get the Medicham and the yeah, Medicham with Volton is pretty nasty, actually, not gonna lie. So Tangros can go for a knockoff here. Cory could exactly go for Protect to get some Black Slash recovery. But this is just uh this is a win for, for Cory unless his unless his Medicham misses some moves. I mean he still also has a tar, which is probably banned tar, I would assume. Um This is just not winnable for Trosco. Unless he like dodges high jump kick from Medicham and his uh Yeah I, I, like I don't see how he can win this. So he does knock off the choice band? The choice band, yes. So Cory can just go for crunch here because it's one hundred percent accurate and you don't have to risk missing and weaken something on Trosgo's team. He goes for edge. I don't think that was necessary, I think crunch was pretty free there. I understand that you want the most damage, but Medicham killed everything already. Um so I think Crunch would have been fine there. I obviously goes for Wiz trying to burn the Tita. Goes into Among Us. Among Us uh, obviously does not have a problem being burned as Black Slash cancels that out. He only takes a little bit chip from Sandstorm. Uh, he can just go for the Poison Step here if he has that. I don't remember the entire moveset. So Giga Drain Protect. What are the other two moves? <laughs> HP Fire Sludge Bomb. Like, I don't know if he has Spore, like I said, because he has uh, Tapu Koko on his own team. You can still. The only thing he could put this to bed would be Pokemon in the air, like Celesteela, Landorus. So it still has some usage, but I think something like Stun Sport would be more useful in, in that, yeah. When you have a Coco on your own team. Um, also, the one thing I like about Among Us is it's a T-Spec Absorb because Pex is super annoying. But he also has Medicham that scares Pex off and Baranta also beats Pex. Um, obviously, both don't want to switch in on Pex, but they can beat it. So he should just, he goes Tita, he eats up that Giga Drain. He should just go for Crunch. Like, I don't see why, yeah, I don't see why he's risking, that does absolutely nothing. Wow. Is, it, is that a Fist Death Tangros? No, I don't think so. Uh, it might be, it might be, um, it might be AV Tangers with some Fizz Dev investment. So yeah, I jump Kiki is gonna get a kill as long as it connects, and it does. Now Cross goes forced into Landris. Um, then Cory switches back out, obviously, because Medicham just wins the game. Later on, can even win a bit, just fake out. No reason to risk anything. And I think this Among Us doesn't have Slush Bomb, but he, I don't think he went for that yet. <laughs> so yeah, he's trying to knock off the Black Sludge, not that it matters. Um, pretty much Cory can 
sack this and then go into Medicham as he goes for HP5. Yeah, that is AV. That is AV Tangrus. That, that, that does nothing. But the Stone Edge also did nothing from the Tita. Maybe the Tita was jolly or it was a low roll. Um, or I would I would assume that the Tangrus also has some Fist Dev investment with AV on there. Um, because Fist Dev investment on Tangrus would um, be helpful for Trosco. For the Katana matchup, Katana is a huge threat to him. So I could understand having some Fist Dev on Tangrus. I don't know if he revealed the, the hidden power from his Tangrowth yet. But if he had HP Fire and some Fist of Investment, he could check Kartana that way. So he does go on the Landris here, he can go for... He didn't go for U-Turn, which I'm surprised by. Koi just went for Protect, scouting with Landlocks into if it stays in. But yeah, this is um, pretty much over whenever Medicham comes uh, back in. I think he's just sacking his Amongus, there's no point in going hard Medicham and potentially getting crit or Sludge Bomb Poison. I think the Tangros did reveal Sludge Bomb earlier, if I recall correctly. But yeah, this is this series is the Wolfpack versus the Runas. I just don't remember who of the two is on which team, so we will look that up after the game. So Amongus goes down, Medicham comes in, Medicham can just click uh, Ice Punch here and get a kill. I'm pretty sure Ice Punch would kill from here. Yep. Now Landris comes out. Um, Cory switches out into his own Landris. And Trosco is forced to lock into HP Ice because he can't lock into Earthquake. Because then he can't touch the other Lando. And also, even if he is able to kill the other Lando, Manager just comes back in and clicks Fake Out. And the game is over. And Cory wins. Yeah, this is just like. Manager is just so scary in some matchups. Like, in theory, you can play around Medicham, but Trosco's team um, did not have really much around Medicham. Like, he kind of had to rely on Scarf Lando to check Medicham and on top of Lele, and after Lele took some chip damage, it couldn't check it anymore. So, yeah, that was just bad matchup for Trosco, I would say. And yeah, you guys can see the score here. We have uh, Corey winning for the Runas versus Trusco from the Wolfpack. Hope you all enjoyed. See you with more SPL coverage. And peace out, friends.